Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and today I will share my learning about uh, one of the very interesting ClickView object, search object. So let's create one search object and see uh, how it can be useful in our dashboard. So like we create other objects, uh, we will start by clicking, right clicking on the blank space, go to new sheet object and uh, click on the search object. It will open this new search object window for us and you have different properties. So for now let's not change any of the property and click and go ahead with the default properties by clicking OK. Alright, so we have the search object for us. Let me just quickly drag it to a proper place where you can see it easily. Alright, so this is the search object uh, in click view which is very helpful in selecting those values which are not appearing as the filters uh, here in this dashboard like you have filter by year, filter as filter by month as a standard filters in this dashboard um, but in the backend data sets you may have uh, hundreds of different fields in which you have you know thousands or millions of rows from which you want to search the values so in that case uh, this search object becomes really handy so before any further talking let's quickly search something and see uh, how it does the search. So we click in here in this search text and this cursor is coming and uh, we'll start let's say by U. Alright so you see that uh, all of the different uh, fields like customer, customer address, line description 1 are coming and uh, their respective values so in customer we see that router usability group, US exchange, units and mansion concepts and you know some others customers are coming. So this is really handy because uh, you know they are not present here in the filters but as soon as you enter any text like U all of these fields are appearing having a U value uh, in the text that they store. So like in line description 1 this text is stored for this field like urban ag substitute so th that will be appear for you so it is very customized and very flexible uh, while doing the filtering so we can click any of the value like uh, urban large eggs and our dashboard will be updated for this really simple and really powerful and flexible so let's clear the selections and go ahead by uh, seeing some other options that you can uh, e use in the search object. So let's uh, again start by U and uh, let's say you want to select multiple values like uh, you want to update this dashboard for uh, US exchange, unison management concepts and uh, United States. Now to select multiple values uh, you need to hold down the control key from your keyboard and click on the values. So US exchange, uh, don't lose the control key and uh, unison man con management concept and the third value is United States. Now you can remove the control key and the values or the dashboard is updated for you. So you see this, uh, you can select individual values as well as multiple values from the search object. But let's see uh, one other quick thing that you can do in with the search object. So you go ahead and click on this clear selections and uh, let's again start by typing U and uh, say for example uh, you want to select uh, all of these five customers which are coming here and uh, for that you don't have to select uh, individual customer by holding down the control key from your mouse from your keyboard uh, but you can click this customer field and by clicking here uh, all of these five values will be selected for you so you click this and dashboard will be updated for you so currently you are not able to see uh, all the all of these five values in this search object because 
this is how it how it works it, it just doesn't show you but for that uh, to see our selection we can go to uh, current selection box which I have explained in my earlier videos we just click on OK and that will actually show the values that we have just selected so customer these are the values that we selected from the search object right so as we enter U, you see that all of these values are highlighted in green and similarly all of these five values are present here in this current selection box so you see this uh, how flexible simple and powerful tool it can be uh, in such scenarios where you want to show only standard filters like year and month in the dashboard but uh, you are also giving the flexibility to the end user by giving this uh, search object so where they can just write their query or search string and select values from all of the fields that are present in the backend data set so let's see uh, how you can do some other kinds of search like a uh, wildcard character search you know uh, we have sometimes we have the requirements like uh, we want to search those string which are which should have the end value as uh, say sa or bw or anything you know so in such scenarios wildcard characters are very important and we have the flexibility here in this click view object search object by doing the search with the wildcard so one of the very uh, frequently used wildcard character is star and let's say you want to see all of those uh, text values that are ending with SA so so these values that are ending with SA are present in the city field customer field and state field so the these kind of selections that you can do here or you can write any other value like B anything which is ending with B so you have fab right or a corn on the cob so these kind of values uh, you can select from here and update the dashboard so this is how you can do a, a wildcard character search the third option is uh, doing a fuzzy search and uh, for fuzzy search you need to start by this character call it tilde and uh, start typing the characters like uh, so these these are like fuzzy search that you can do you need to start with this character tilde and start typing the uh, characters that you want to search and uh, values will be displayed for you so this is how uh, you can do different kinds of search in this uh, text object so let's see some of its properties which are very similar to the properties uh, that we have seen in other objects uh, so earlier uh, we selected this default like search in you know we just specify all fields but you can also select fields from here so you want this search object uh, to not to go in all of the fields but only for some specify field, specified field and in that case you can search the fields from here and add it over here so in that case the values will only be searched in the selected fields like division so if we say delete division and click on apply ok now the search object will only search the values in the division field so let's say A now you see that no match is found if you enter U you see that no match is found because search is only happening in this uh, division field so let's uh, right click this again go into properties and uh, remove this and click it back to all fields uh, go to presentation tab uh, very similar properties like uh, how you want to show the search result include excluded so excluded values are those values which are not related to the selection uh, you are saying that you want to include those 
values also so that you can see uh, you if you want to highlight the search substring like you have seen uh, when we entered the u character all of those values which we selected were highlighted in the search substring and uh, collapse when results in field exceeds so whenever the field result exceed 10 uh, they were collapsed so that you can easily see each and every field that are having the resultant values um, visual style uh, you know appearance is rounded the corners are rounded if you are interested in squared appearance you can click apply and uh, uh, right now it is it has gone in the back end but uh, this will be squared it's very simple and straightforward so let's click on the apply for now uh, the text in the search field like you are seeing search over here so you can if you are interested in showing some other text in a state of search you can do that by clicking and changing the search value from here in this text sort is uh, how you want to sort the fields like in text a to z or z to a alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order and uh, numbers uh, of heads or as listed on general tab so very simple and straightforward based on your requirement you can change this font again very sim simple what kind of font that you want uh, for this search object you can change the values from here uh, no need to you know, go into individual such font type very simple thing so layout uh, again layout the important properties are show uh, whether you want to show this object always or based on some condition uh, I have explained these things earlier uh, I believe in the text object video where I have explained how you can conditionally hide or uh, show a particular object other options like you wanna give the flexibility to end user to move and resize this object or you want to give the flexibility of uh, copying and clone this object uh, to the other developers uh, you can give this flexibility and they can uh, utilize by copying and uh, pasting at some other sheets scroll buttons and scroll background so these are the color properties for scroll buttons and uh, what kind of background scroll, scroll bar should have you can give it from here and the width you can specify from here these are very simple straightforward again uh, go ahead and change the properties according to your own requirement last is the caption uh, again if you have some text to show as a caption you can give that like search if I say show caption click apply you see this is search is coming but irrelevant in this case so I'm just disabling this by unchecking the show caption you can set the background color for caption text and the caption bar where you specify uh, the background color and the text color when it is inactive and when the caption is active what should be the background color and text color that can be specified from here so multi-line caption if the caption is very long you can have it multi-line caption and uh, position uh, x position and y position so currently where it is placed it is based on that width height what should be the width and height for this object uh, this is specified over here you can change it uh, according to your own requirement uh, you want this uh, object to minimize you can click on allow minimize or allow maximize based on your requirement and uh, utilize the properties for this uh, search object if you have anything related to help tags that you want to give you can specify and a question mark kind of a sign can will come uh, on this search object so very simple and straightforward uh, uh, object simple search that you can do and uh, sometimes very powerful for the end users so with that I will encourage you go ahead and use it in your dashboards 
So, and thank you for watching my video.